splinty method carry solve this kind of question. You know, something they like problem with people. So make I just keep things simple. We all run this one ASAP. Like this video, share around because as they look at like this, it'd be like waiting over fish off with that simple stuff. I want to start with this first guy. This first guy carry k plus one. I want to split them. I don't like as in they are six, six, seven to the power of k times seven to the power of one. Now the same thing as this guy. Remember, product law of is you say anytime with the base, they the same. Take one of the base with, with the common and add the power. Is it say this or not give us back this guy? So why I, I, I reduce this one to this particular point? You say I want to make the one we will carry seven to the power of k. We will resemble this one. So I feel, <laughs> I feel do them well. And now why I do this thing? So this one and this one are the same thing. I just bring up from this side, come this way. Then minus 2 equal to this one. 2 to the power of 7 to the power of k. 2 into 7 to the power of k plus 3. Now what I will do? I will say this one, this negative 2. Make him go join this 3 way there. Make this one get 7 to the power of k. Make him come this side. Why I won't do it like that? Because I know one say k and people can they get problem for life. So now I can say 7 to the power of k times 7, I know one rush, I'm not going to take and bit by bit. <laughs> if I jack this one, come this side, or subtract this one from both sides, I'll get minus 2 to the power of 2 into 7 to the power of k equal to this 3. If this one now, come this side, I'll add 2 to both sides, plus 2. You know, say 5 don't show up, yeah, 5 don't show up, ASAP. Okay, yeah, I factorize now. Some people will say, yeah, now let 7 to the power of k be equal to x or something. From beginning, I don't want to waste your time. I tell you now. So, 7 to the power of k, there, 7 to the power of k, you come on. So, I go carry and come outside. So, if I come on this 7 to the power of k, I share this 7 go remain for this one. No. For this one, now, if I remove this 7 to the power of k, come on, yeah, you know, say now minus 2 go remain. I don't go like give you now. 3 plus 2, no be 5. If I, I go like for you. <laughs> no go, I don't go try. Em. So, yeah, now I can't get, you know, say 7 minus 2, now 5. Okay, so, 7 to the power of k into 5 equal to. Five. Normally, if you just squash this one, squash this one, but it will be less than one. You make a divide both side by this five right there. This one and this one now can cancel. What's in the minus seven to the power of k equal to five divided by five could give you one. <laughs> so people will say apply log to both sides. Why you want to do that kind of thing? Just tell yourself one. What's in if you carry replace this one? Seven to the power of zero. No, if you give you one, it will give you now law of zero uh, exponent uh, zero law. I've been waiting a column. I don't forget the name. Of. But I know say the, the law where they call zero law for indices or zero exponents, say anything raised to the power of zero now one. Seven to the power of k equal to seven to the power of zero. I choose this particular seven because yeah, the base will get an a seven. If you're not fifteen, now fifteen raised to the power of zero are for use. So now when the base did the same, I will just equate the power k equal to zero. So the answer of this question is zero. The value of this k is zero. If